Hey guys, welcome back to more Saints Row. We'll continue on. We're trying to escape in this ridiculous car. Hello? Hello? Kenzie? Kenzie, where are you? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. Break free? From, from what? The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. I'm driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. Brace yourself. Brace for- Whoa, my god! Okay. I need some more time before I can get you out. It'd be really helpful- you, could just, you know, just be you. Be me? The simulation is all about normalcy. Pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth. Unleash hell. Oh, okay, that's, that's why it's why like I get that. Paid the big bucks. Resisting, but just keep going. So this guy keeps shooting cops. Oh good, I can actually shoot quite fast with this gun. You need to do more. Bigger! Hold on, I'm sending you something. Find the cat fountain. I left you a present. It's not a cat fountain. It's um, Mr. Gurky. This is peachy. What's going on? Oh. Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You had to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moments. Oh, there we go. We're now exiting the Matrix. Never oh, mind. Still in the Matrix. I'm impressed. Where the hell are... Uh, fuck me. I should have realized a prison of peace would never hold a sociopath like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means nothing. Really? against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty 
and I will empower you to be wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose, torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it, indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken, not dead. Go now and tear their world asunder. A pleasant day, complete. Bum, 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 bum. Like there's some missions in this game that are just iconic, and that's gonna be one of them. So well done. There is no pancakes. The pancakes are a lie. Head rush. Where am I? Come in, President. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. And how the hell am I hearing you? I don't have a phone on me. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because that's not a little creepy. Kinsey, I'm unarmed here. How about get me out? Oops. Do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there. So you might want to go buy a gun. <sighs> right. Friendly fire it is. God, I'm so... Shit, where's the nearest store again? Uh, set your GPS from the map in your hub. Hub? Okay, this is the hub. Let's... Oop, I can cancel out stations I don't like. Well, leave them all. That's cool. Okay, well I guess go into the map. Over here, friendly fire is over here. Looks like a digital information pad. You know, like those mobile devices all the kids have these days? Cool! Can I play games on it? No. So it's like a motorbike with two wheels. And fun. And you can't get knocked off it. Interesting. You... you will be able to get me out of here, right? Eventually. I'm still trying to figure out the Zen systems. Basic hacks like hooking into the audio system isn't hard. Trying to disconnect you and find your body, that's a bit more involved. And changing me out of these ridiculous clothes isn't a basic hack? On my list of priorities, that doesn't even make my top 500. If you were wearing this, I'm sure you'd up that priority. If I was wearing that, I'd be asking you to shoot me in the head. <laughs> oh! Lost myself and smacked myself in the brain skull. So you can fall out this pulse thing. No matter. Well, I should've drawn the, the other way. White House was destroyed? I don't know. Maybe. Why? I was thinking if it was, we could get Ultor to rebuild it. You know, add more defenses, more weapons, a few other jet hangers. Are you serious? Well, maybe in a few more stripper poles in the bedrooms. More? You already had some stripper poles? I had one installed like the first day I was in office. <laughs> wow. So, but anyway, if you haven't played a Saints Row game before, you get, I guess it's XP in this one, and last one it was like, um, what would you even call it? I guess you just call it like popularity or um, swagger, kind of stuff like that. So, by doing kind of crazy stuff, hedge. Mostly the best way to get it is just some kills, but just as you're driving around, you can get near misses and stuff, which add up into XP. So if I drive in the wrong lane, I'll get an oncoming lane bonus. Ugh, and then I get double the experience there, because I got near misses, you chain them, and you get more. If you crash, though, you lose all your gain stuff. Oop. That's what it is now. Oh, this thing is really poor handling compared to the vehicle we just drove. Oh, my thing wasn't that accurate. Not in the world, though. That bridge explodes. Boom. They're still talking about the bridge explosion? Uh, are we sure buying guns is something I'm allowed to do here? I don't know. Do you remember how to shop for yourself? Or did being president make you too good for that? 
That's cash. So I got a thousand things. Let's buy the Fletcher. Okay, so in the last game, um, you just kind of upgrade stuff generically. Now you actually have to upgrade. Yeah, it's himself. Okay, so I don't got enough cash. Let's just upgrade everything. Since it's 100, may as well upgrade everything a little bit. Oh, that's, oh, holy crap, the second upgrade's rather expensive. Okay. Oh, I can't buy any... Can't buy a dildo <laughs> weapon yet? Okay. Portability for longer effective rate. Sure. Oh, one second. You can customize the bad boy? So this is the default. Gold plated. No. I like the default one. But they don't have any silver? Aw, oh, in the last game it was like silvery looking and it was a lot cooler than this one. That's when it's kind of the It looked actually like this, not like that. But whatever. Body pump action as well. By damage for the SMG as well. I love how it like f kind of fades out, fizzles out. Um, yeah, there you go, spent all my money. I may as well. Have. Uh, hope you got something useful. Because the cops are swarming your location. Uh, haven't they heard of the Second Amendment? Zinyak's running this place. I don't think the Constitution holds any weight here. Ah! Is anyone counting these kills? <laughs> One more? Holy shit. So now what? So with this gun, you, you want to get out of this place? Oh. Not yet. There's a Zim Patrol close to you that'll need to be cleared out before that happens. That is, if the President's up for killing a few more aliens. I thank you, Miss Press Secretary. That sounds like a perfect idea. What can I say? I'm good at my job. You're just not good at subtle. True. So with this gun, you want to get headshots. That's its main thing. Um, it's not great for body shots, but it's... I think it's pretty much always a one-hit headshot. At least it was in the last game. Which made it pretty much the m most useful gun. So you could clear a room in a clip much easier than you could with like the AK or something where at some point it just comes rather ineffective. Okay. Yeah, off-roading in a police car is not the easiest. Also, I love how it says trust and obey on the back of the car. Hey guys! You looking for me? Just kill them and leave already. Just better than everyone. Okay, time to lay low for a bit. Use my warehouse. It's not far. Uh, isn't there a nice hotel or something I can use instead? What's wrong with my inner sanctum? Oh no, no, nothing, nothing at all. Um, just so you guys know, Kenzie's inner sanctums are usually pretty weird. She's not exactly totally sane. I think I could have cut across, but... Oop, shit. Perfect, hold space by there to, to slide. Oh, this is the same inner sanctum as in the... F third game. I hope this isn't a, just a giant reskin of the third game. Because this is exactly uh, what it Kinsey, looked like. All your stuff's gone. What? Damn it! Zinyak removed all signs of the saints from the simulation. That means... There's no more safe houses for us in the city. Right. So what do we do about that? Hmm. Not sure yet. 
though any help you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Got it. Anything else? Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. And the sooner the better. Hmm. The fundamentals complete. Ooh, we got 2,000 more in our cash. Nice. And a level. Nice. Hack. Vehicle Dervly. We're on a vehicle, save it with end to add that vehicle later. Access vehicle Dervly in your hub phone. Who needs a garage when you can just materialize a vehicle around you? Interesting. Hmm. But anyway, guys, we'll call it an episode here, and we'll be back in the next one for more Saints Row the 4th. Thanks, guys. Later.